Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be covering a project that I believe could lead all blockchain gaming. Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief. No. So the project I'm going to be covering today is Gala. According to CoinMarketCap, Gala is currently ranked 74th among all cryptocurrencies. It's trading at a price point of about two and a half cents. It has a market cap of 519 million, a max supply of 50 billion, and a circulating supply of 21.6 billion. That's about 43% in circulation. And I also want to preface, there's a chance that the tokenomics are not correct. A couple months ago, Gala implemented the V2 upgrade, which has enhanced burn mechanisms, security enhancements, and future upgradability. So it definitely could be better. However, just keep in mind the tokenomics might not be correct. Gala reached an all-time high back in 2021 of 83 cents. It's currently down 97% since then. Now, as many of you guys know, I'm pretty bullish on this project. I think it has a great opportunity to lead all gaming projects in the crypto industry. Gala Games was created by industry-leading game developers who came together to bring value back to the players with the help of Web3 and blockchain tech. Its founders saw major problems with the way today's leading game publishers demand that players continually spend to keep enjoying a game they love. Scrapping the old model, Gala is creating a huge platform for AAA level games many free to play designed to give players more freedom control and rewards than ever so first things first is gala token itself has utility and one of the ways the token is used is you can buy in-game items which in most games and gaming projects today you do not actually own the item even if you technically buy it in game whereas in gala games because of blockchain technology you actually own that item and you can trade it among players you can do whatever you want with the item the whole concept is to give power back to the players. Now, I also want to point out that it was founded in 2019 by Eric, who is the co-founder of Zynga, along with like-minded experts from gaming, crypto pioneers, and blockchain developers. Success in mobile gaming with titles like Zynga Poker, Farmville, and Mafia Wars set the stage for a huge leap toward player empowerment. And some of these projects are huge. Zynga Poker was massive, so was Farmville, which gives the team some credibility and you know that they can make good quality games that a lot of people will play. And there are also 400 people around the world currently working working for Gala. And yes, compared to some companies around the world, that's not a large amount. I understand that. But for a crypto project, 400 people, that's a lot. There are a lot of crypto projects out there that have teams of 12, 15 people. So 400 is definitely a solid amount. Now, when you look at Gala's website, it's pretty clean. They have their game section, they have their music section, their film section, and they're also right at the forefront of Web3, which I think is going to be a massive narrative in the next bull run. And they say making blockchain games you'll actually want to play. I think that is extremely important important. How is a gaming project actually going to succeed if nobody wants to actually play their games? The simple answer is it's not. So their principles are fun first, assets which are owned by the players, community rules so they actually take advice from their community, and powered by the people. And more than 16,000 player run nodes power their ecosystem. That is a lot of nodes. Some of their partners they have listed are Flare, Mazer Gaming, BitTrue, Brave, and Polygon. But a couple other big ones are Marvel and AMC. And then in terms of partnering with individuals, Gala has partnered with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Mark Wahlberg, and Snoop Dogg. All three of those names are huge, especially Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I mean, he has like the second largest Instagram following at just under 400 million followers. You can't really get much bigger of a name to be an influencer for your project, which is another reason that I think Gala could absolutely take off next bull run. Now I want to show you guys Gala's holders. So total, they have 245,000 holders. And I will admit, this is the one slightly concerning thing with Gala. If you add up the percentages of the top 10 holders, they hold over 50% of the supply of Gala. And yes, you can say that the number three and number nine are related to Binance. Perhaps they are. However, they are not actually in a smart contract. So technically they could be liquidated. And now I want to preface me saying that 50% of the supply is held by the top 10 wallets is not me saying that I think they're going to do malicious things with the supply. However, just keep in mind, it is a possibility. Essentially, every single cryptocurrency comes with risk. In my opinion, this is one of the risks with Gala. Now, when you look at Gala's Twitter, they have about 472,000 followers, and they are doing a good job of posting very frequently, which is a good thing to see. When you're looking for a project to invest in, you want a team that is keeping the community up to date, which Gala is doing a good job of that. Now, as for how high I think Gala could go next bull run, as I said, Gala has a market cap of just over 500 million. If you look at Cardano, Cardano's sitting at about 10 billion. If you go to market cap of and you put Gala in and you put Cardano in, theoretically, if Gala were to reach the market cap of Cardano right now, it'd be sitting at a price 
price point of 41 cents, that'd be about a 17X. Now, I definitely think that that's possible. However, Gala had an all-time high of about 83 cents. Perhaps it's even more likely to assume it could reach closer to what XRP is at currently, which is about 24.6 billion. And if it reached the market cap of XRP right now, it'd be sitting at a price point of just over $1 and that'd be a 42X. That could be a more realistic price prediction. Again, it just completely depends on whether or not you guys believe in Gala long-term. I think gaming is always going to be a big narrative in bull runs. The world is becoming digital and people need ways to entertain themselves. So video games is always going to play a role. And you look at esports. Esports is absolutely blowing up. I don't think gaming is going anywhere. And if Gala has a chance to lead all blockchain gaming, theoretically, it might even hit $2 next bull run. I wouldn't hold my breath for it, but there is a chance. Anything is possible in crypto, especially if Bitcoin's trading at 100,000, 150,000. But these price predictions are just my opinion. Please do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Now, when you look at Gala on the daily time frame, the stochastics are oversold, starting to push up, and the RSI is also oversold. If you pull a Fibonacci, Gala is currently trading beneath the 786. And in the last video, I talked about Gala being in a falling wedge, and that falling wedge is still valid. Falling wedges break up 68% of the time, and it has a big measured move up to just under 7 cents. Measured moves do not always play out. However, these four indicators traditionally suggest it is a great time to start accumulating your cryptocurrency if you believe in it long term. Although, keep in mind, most cryptocurrencies right now are tied to Bitcoin. If Bitcoin rises, most will rise. If Bitcoin falls, most will fall. That being said, I want to show you guys Bitcoin's daily time frame. So when you look at those stochastics, they're extremely oversold, starting to push up, and the RSI is a little bit high, but it's not a deal breaker. Now, you could also argue that Bitcoin's in a little bit of a bull pennant, which bull pennants break up 68% of the time, and the measured move would take you to about $36,500. And then if you look at price action, it comes down and touches the 21-day moving average. Typically, if it does not actually break beneath the 21-day, it usually gets a pretty decent bounce off of it, and that would line up with the bull pennant. And again, with the oversold stochastics that are starting to push up, I think there's a highly likely chance that Bitcoin could pump up. But keep in mind, macroeconomics significantly outweigh technical analysis. So if bad news comes out, Bitcoin could crash back down to 15,000. Anything is possible, so just keep an open mind. But that's about all. Let me know down in the comments, how do you guys feel about Gala Games? And where do you think the crypto market's headed within the next few weeks? Like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I'm hitting the ground running up and coming. Ain't nothing. Yeah, rookie of the year. I'ma keep it 100. Cold blooded. No budget. From nothing to something. I ain't bluffing. I got a full hand and a full plan. I ain't gonna stop till I'm at the top, man. Every single drop got me feeling awesome. I'm